I feel like it's been a really long time since I've kind of just like sat down and talked to the camera um and I feel like we need a little bit of a catch up so I don't even know what's been going on firstly I have got a new phone um and I don't know whether the camera quality is better or not I feel like it's better personally yeah let me know what you guys think um in this vlog because obviously I'm going to be using my new phone um but yeah, I actually got a week off work at the moment, so I thought I'd do like a little bit of a vlog. I've really wanted to do like summer diaries for a really long time, but the weather's just not been given. Like, it is not been nice weather. Like, what has July been? I've literally felt like I've been in autumn. I literally like the shops have got like Halloween stuff, autumn stuff. Like, I literally feel like I'm living in autumn, and. I love the summer, like I'm such more of like a summer girly. I mean, just feel, it feels like September, it's not given summer, this weather is not given summer. Um, and I've had so many cute things and like ideas planned for the summer that I've just not been able to do because the weather has not been given. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, fingers crossed, try and film a little summer vlog. Um, I've got a week of work at the moment, um, so I've got a few like things planned. The weather, it has actually been raining this morning, but I think hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to take a turn for the better. Um, and we'll be able to enjoy a little bit of summer. Obviously, it's coming to the end of July now, so we've literally only got like one month left. Um, and yeah, I was really hoping to be able to do some like summer vlogs. I did like spring diaries, and I really enjoyed doing those. And literally, the weather was so much better back then. Like, it feels like summer has kind of like been and gone like spring was summer and now we're in autumn i don't know if anybody else feels like that yeah i'm just kind of doing my makeup for today my skin has like proper been broken out the only thing that i've like noticed is that i've been using a new cleanser and it was the what is it called so i'm gonna i'll leave the name of it on the screen but it's like a really popular one recommended and i spent quite a lot of money on this cleanser i think it was like 23 pounds from like sephora um but since i've been using it my skin has like proper broken out so i'm not too sure maybe my skin just doesn't agree with it um but i really like i really want it to work because i've heard so many good things about it and obviously i did spend quite a lot of money on it so i don't know if it's like a thing of like it gets worse before it gets better so i'm gonna try and keep using it but like my skin is so bad at the moment it could also be like hormones i suppose but yeah my skin has been really good the last couple of months and then it's like just taking a time for the worse so i'm having to put a little bit of makeup on today i've not even told you guys what we're doing today i i'm not really too sure it's like it's like a little bit of a spontaneous day like i didn't really have plans i think we're gonna go into town um maybe go and look in a few shops i really want to do a bit of reading i've gotten really, really into reading again um, not that I ever like stopped but I've gone into a phase that I just like I cannot put down this book I'm reading the Chestnut Springs series and oh my god they're so good I'm so into it um but yeah I feel like that's kind of the plan if it's nice weather I want to spend a little bit of time outside but I'm not really too sure what the weather's gonna be given but yeah I just feel like this vlog hopefully it's gonna be like a little summery vlog although it may be raining and it may feel more like an autumn vlog but who knows we're also going to bath tomorrow i'm actually doing a whole video on that which will probably be up before this video actually where we're going to look at like where bridgerton was filmed because there were so many locations for bridgerton used in bath and bridgerton is one of my favorite series so i'm so excited to see that um, it's gonna be a really nice day so i'm gonna do like a whole video on that a few other plans like throughout the week i'm just gonna like pick up the camera when there's something to record but hopefully it should be a nice like a summery vlog or you really want to romanticize the summer like i've got a whole summer bucket list um i was whole summer vision board on pinterest and i just like i really want to like romanticize the summer so fingers crossed we'll get some sun but yeah that's pretty much what this vlog is gonna be and i really hope you guys enjoy it
We've just gone back from town. Picked up a strawberry matcha <laughs> bubble tea. I don't know if you could call it bubble tea because it's technically not tea, but it is really, really good. Normally, I'm like, I'm not a massive fan of like what are the the bubbles, but I love, I love myself a good old matcha, and I've been trying to drink more matcha than coffee recently so yeah and i love the strawberry as well so it's really really good anyways we've just pulled up at a park and we're gonna go have a little not really a picnic but we've got a picnic blanket and we're just gonna and hopefully i'm gonna do a little bit of reading like i said before i'm really really into reading at the moment and i'm really really enjoying the book that i'm reading so we're gonna do a little bit of reading bubble teas and yeah hopefully enjoy a little bit of the sunshine because it actually is really hot today Good morning everybody, it's now Wednesday today. Um, we actually, yesterday we went to a bath and we looked at the Bridgerton scenes, which is gonna be the video before this video. So if you guys want to watch it for any of my Bridgerton girlies, I had a really, really lovely day. We got to see all the sights there. So, um, so I really enjoyed filming that vlog. So that's already up on my channel if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, I was doing that as a, like a separate video. Anyway, today we're going at berry picking, which is probably my favorite thing to do in the summer. I included this as part of like my summer bucket list and I we do it every single year. We go to the same place and it's a really, really lovely place. I really, really enjoy going. And yeah, like I said, it's wonderfully one of my favorite things to do in the summer. I don't even know why, but I just, I love like the scenery, like a little farm shop there. I just think it's a really, really cute vibe. So yeah, we're going about to go berry picking. everybody i didn't actually vlog yesterday because it was not giving a summer vibe raining all day um i couldn't really do anything outside because it was just horrible weather i did have to get my hair cut i don't know if you guys can really notice i kind of just got like the ends off just a little bit of like a trim to freshen up but yeah it's now the next day it is actually sunny today a bit more summer which is good i've just got myself a fruit salad this morning i feel like i really just fancied like fresh fruit these are actually the fruit that we picked the other day um and yeah, I was just really fancying, fancying like a fresh fruit salad for the day. It's perfect in the summer when it's hot. And obviously they are good for you as well. So I'm going to eat that. I just quickly do a little works book haul. I went to the works yesterday and I got um, a, and I got a few books. I didn't actually, I didn't actually have the one I wanted. I really want to complete my Chestnut Spring series with Hopeless. I've read all the other ones now. I literally just need Hopeless. Um, and they always have every single one but Hopeless, which is really, really annoying. But I did pick up these books instead. Just for the summer, I've seen this one on TikTok um, and people said it's really, really good. It was only £3 as well in the works and I really wanted like another summer book. So I've actually started reading this one already. Um, I think I'm about like, I'm only about 50 pages in though. So I'm not really too sure what I think yet. But apparently this is really similar to like the Emily Henry vibes. And I read Emily Henry's um, Happy Place and it's still my favourite book. I love it so much. And I'm hoping this is giving all like those sort of vibes and hopefully it's going to make me feel a little bit summery because with this web at the moment i'm not really feeling the summer spirit um so i'm hoping this is gonna help that i then also got these two books here which these were five pounds each um and 
they are so pretty i actually picked it up because this one's like the new one and it's got the sprayed edges and i just think it is so so gorgeous and i wasn't too sure but i think you have to read this one first so obviously i picked this one up as well i think this one's been out for a few years though um I've seen it before, but my sister's actually read this one and she said it's really, really good. So I'm looking forward to reading both of them. But yeah, I just feel like the covers are so, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to put myself on a little bit of a book ban though, because I feel like I've been buying too many books and I need to start reading that. Actually, I think I've currently read like 18 books this year. So considering I'd only read maybe one book last year, this is, this is a very big achievement. Um, so yeah, those are the new books that I picked up. I thought I'd just show you guys quickly. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Something's going to fade. I've just come in outside because the weather is really, really nice. It's really nice and sunny out. Um, and I thought I'd just do a little bit of painting because I actually have not painted in a really, really long time. I'm not a very really good painter. Um, but I feel like it's like something fun to do, something a little bit creative. I feel like I need to like get that creativity um, going. So I've got myself a little canvas um, and I'm going to paint something, hopefully. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not like a, I'm not a very great painter. As you've probably seen from the following clips, I basically spent this morning, um, we went for a little picnic and I did a little bit of drawing outside because it's really nice weather today. Um, and yeah, it was really nice to sit there, do a little bit of people watching and do a little bit of colouring. I'm trying to like express my creativity, if you guys couldn't already tell. To the spa on the way back and I picked up this cupcake. How cute does it look? I've never seen it before. It's um, Cupcakes by Sophia. I've never heard of um than before but there were so many there there were so many different choices there was like a cookies and cream strawberries and cream um chocolate orange there were so many that looked really nice i kind of went for the basic one which is just like the vanilla whippy um but i kind of wanted the flake on the top they were only a pound as well which i think is quite good for a cupcake um so yeah let's have a little i thought we'd have a little taste test mm, it's pretty good i mean it's just like vanilla cupcake but it's pretty good before we end this video off by doing a little bit of my July favourites, I was going to do like a separate video on this, but I thought it would be quite fitting to do it in my summer diary, seeing as a lot of like these things are going to be like summer products. Um, just things that I've been loving during July. It's like products like makeup, skincare, but also some like podcasts, YouTubers, I've got books. So yeah, it's just a bunch of things. Number one is strawberry matchas. I'm like in my matcha era at the moment. I am loving a matcha, specifically strawberry matchas. Now I'm not a massive strawberry fan, but I get like the Nesquik um strawberry powder, mix it with my milk, and oh my god, that in a matcha is so good. Like it just it's something it just goes really really nicely. Um, so I'm literally having a strawberry matcha every single day. Um. Matcha is obviously really, really good for you. Obviously, with the strawberry, it's adding that little bit of sugar, which isn't as great for you. But the matcha itself is really, really good for you. It's really, really good for your metabolism. It's giving you that caffeine, but not like it's better for you than coffee. So yeah, I'm just, I'm on my matcha grind. I am loving a strawberry matcha. And they look cute as well, which is obviously another bonus. Next thing is this book, which is 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. I think I bought this book like maybe two years ago. Um... 
and I was never really that big into reading when I got it so I don't think I really I think I flipped through the pages and maybe read like a few but I'm really reading this and oh my god it is so so good I can really feel like whatever essay I land on is just like that's the life advice I need at that moment and it's just like mind-blowing <laughs> it's really really good because it's like the chapters are very like small and like it's not massive essays it's like more like look it's like more like bullet points so I feel like it's quite easy to read um I am going for it at the moment and like highlighting bits but I definitely recommend this to anybody like I feel like there's so many different things if like whatever stage of life you're in whatever you're going to go through you know um I feel like this is a really really great book it's one of definitely one of my favorite like self-help books and it makes me want to um read some more books I know Brianna West she does um other books as well but yeah I just I really really love this book it is like a bit of like it's quite like a chunky book but like I said it kind of just breaks it down I literally just like I read like one essay a day um, products I feel like I spoke about this before the Sol de Janeiro 68 spray and I don't care how basic I am for liking this it's just it smells so so good like if you want to know what I smell like it is this spray here it definitely like it doesn't last ages but then it is only a body mist and body mist don't last as long as like perfumes and stuff and I just think it's like a great in the summer I always have this in my bag um I just think it's a really really nice body mist um and I also got the cream as well recently and oh my god I'm so glad I got this like this is just it just it smells so so good i always get compliments when i'm wearing these um and layering them up together as well i will put this on after my shower spray a little bit of this and it's just oh it's so so good if i've mentioned this before i've really been loving the elf primer this month i picked this up a couple months ago and i was like i know a lot of people have gone on about this and how they really really like this um so i really wanted to try it out and it definitely is as good as they say like i've never found a primer to be as good as this one if i ever want like my makeup to last really long which to be fair when it's summer i'm not really wearing much weight makeup i'm not really putting a primer on but if there's occasions that i really want nice makeup to last long this is actually my go-to i love it so much this is a really really great summer product um this is the i think it's beauty of jocelyn um sun cream and again this was a really, really overly hyped i saw this on tiktok before i bought it um but it is as good it definitely is worth the hype um it definitely is good as people say it's really really nice and like lightweight and i've been using it on my face every single day like even when it's like not really particularly sunny because you never know what like the uv is like so i always put this on my face and i've definitely noticed it's different i've definitely i spoke before in my videos about wearing spf but yeah this is definitely my favorite one as well is definitely i've heard a lot of good things about this and i finally picked it up and tried it and it's definitely probably my favorite powder i've used um especially like a drugstore powder i think it's really really good also so much in it so like i feel like it's gonna last me ages which is really really good but yeah that kind of like matte look if you're looking for a drugstore primer i definitely recommend it's the one by Revolution. I recently got into p louise this month as well the only thing that i bought previously from p louise was their um goal getter journal which i've spoken about before but i really wanted to try some of their cosmetics so this was all over my for you page and i actually bought a mystery box which i loved the stuff that was in the mystery box i think it's such such good value um and then i picked up and I also picked up two of the like juice boxes. So I think I got them for like eight pounds in the end, which is so good because they're normally 22 pounds, but they were on TikTok on offer. So I was like, I want to try it. Everybody really um, raves about the cherry one as well. So I got cherry and pink lemonade and oh my God, they smell so, so good. And they're so, so good for your lips. You get like the two products in one um, and I use them both together. And yeah, it smells good. Um, it just it really nourishes my lips it's i'm literally like applying it all the time because it's so and like the packaging is so cute as well um and i have i have one of these on my car keys as well so i'm like taking it wherever i go but yeah i think they are really really good definitely worth the value and i definitely want to try more p louise stuff last thing i thought i'd mention is a few of the podcasts that i've really been loving this month i love listening to a podcast on my hot girl walk i think i meant psychology of your 20s in one of my other videos but that's definitely one that i've been loving this month um i definitely love learning more about psychology and i think that's a really, really great podcast especially if you're in your 20s and just trying 
Trying to Navigate Life. There's so many great episodes on there. Another one I've been loving is the Mal Robbins podcast. I don't think I've, like, every episode is generally great. I love her, like, enthusiasm. She's very, like, down to earth and realistic. Um, she doesn't, like, promote all these, like, unrealistic standards, which I think is really, really great. Um, and I'm always learning something new. She has some really, really great, like, guests on there as well. So I'm always learning something new from her. I think, so yeah, I think they, they're really great podcasts for, like, inspiration and motivation as well. Get Up and Glow is a new one that I've found. I actually found her on TikTok at first and I saw that she had a podcast so I really wanted to listen to the podcast and I feel like she's so underrated like she doesn't have that many followers but her podcast is really, really great and I've actually never heard anybody speak about it before. If you've never given Get Up and Glow a listen then I definitely recommend it. I think I've listened to about two episodes but I do really love them and I definitely want to be listening to them more in August. Um, yeah, those were a few of the podcasts I really liked. So a few of the things I've been loving this month, some of my July favourites. Let me know down below what your July favourites are. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it made you feel a little bit summery. I think if it's just me, but with this like weather, I've been really struggling to get into like the summer vibe. I definitely feel like I need like a holiday or something. But I'm hoping that this video has given you some ideas to do this summer and just made you feel a little bit more summery. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed.